and welcome back to Block TV. Time for Black Hats. Now, needless to say, every ecosystem has its good, its bad, and its ugly. But I went through the ruck the muck of the industry with its various hacks, scams, and frauds, and lived to report on it. Now, according to a CCN report, cybersecurity firm Simonatech has warned that Bitcoin sextortion scams are on the rise, with scammers making a fortune by targeting people who watch porn and don't want their loved ones to know about it, of course. During the first five months of this year, the cybersecurity firm disclosed that it blocked approximately 289 million sextortion emails, but that didn't stop the scammers from milking guilty porn viewers for more than $1 million in ransom money, most of it paid in Bitcoin. Now, most of these scams threatened to embarrass the recipients of the email by reviewing or revealing their porn viewing habits by claiming to have secretly been recording them. Similar to that Black Mirror episode, if you haven't seen it, I recommend it. And in some rare cases, the scammers claimed to be cops who had stumbled upon child pornography on a device owned by the target. Now, per semantic, the scammers mass email as many addresses as possible using an amateurish template with poor spelling and unusual phrasing. I'm sure you've gotten these type of emails before, but I guess there are plenty of guilty gullible people out there because it seems to be working for them. In some cases, the scammers try to show proof that they actually possess confidential information, such as a password or phone number associated with the target, adding validity to their claims of having the dirty vids. But the details have usually been attained from recent data dumps, so it seems to all be a bluff on the side of the scammers. It doesn't really seem like they have these videos. Either way, lock your door, cover your webcam, and delete your browser for history because you never know who's watching. Next up, according to a report by Coindesk, Blockchain an anal analytics firm Elliptic collaborated with researchers from MIT to publish a public data set of Bitcoin transactions associated with illicit activity. Now here at Black Hat, we've been always talking about that. How much of crypto and how much of Bitcoin is used for criminal activity? Well, these researchers used the Watson AI machine learning software to analyze 203,000 Bitcoin node transactions worth roughly $6 billion in total. It's good to see that IBM is using Watson for something other than Jeopardy. Now, the research explored whether artificial intelligence could assist current anti-money anti laundering uh, or AML procedures uh, to help identify illicit activity. Now, the research found that only 2% of the 200,000 Bitcoin transactions in the data set were deemed illicit as part of their elliptic initial work. But before you quickly send this over to your crypto hating, crypto hating friend with a tagline, see, Bitcoin isn't only used by criminals, the study only found 21% was identified as lawful. Now, that means the vast majority of transactions, roughly 77%, remain unclassified. Now, that doesn't mean that all those 77% were transactions used by criminals, but Elliptic is frequently hired by law enforcement agencies around the world to identify illegal activities using cryptocurrency. Now, this means that even with AML and KYC procedures, the government still doesn't know most of what is going on with Bitcoin. And our best AI still has a long way to go when it comes to helping in the process. Well, that was your Black Hats for today. I'm Yona Hockhauser. Stay tuned and watch more at blocktv.com. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter.